Hey, it's Chef Duke again, and we're gonna make one of New Orleans' famous dishes. My friends at Pascal Minali's invented it. I don't know where they get the name barbecue shrimp from, but it's a world, world famous dish. And it's made with beautiful Louisiana shrimp. And I'm gonna show you my style on how to make barbecue shrimp. This is a true New Orleans dish. People love it. It's a sloppy dish. You goes run down your home. You sop everything up, all the great sauce with French bread. This is what New Orleans is all about. Flavor, flavor, flavor. It's a Mardi Gras in your mouth. You're gonna start this dish off with only one type, the best shrimp in the world, Louisiana fresh shrimp. Head on, because all that fat and that flavor is in that head. So you wanna use head on. When you can use fresh, use fresh. If not, you can use a headless shrimp. But Louisiana shrimp, there's no substitute. All that fat and everything. We just picked these up from the farmer's market. These are really, really great shrimp. Just to go over the ingredients, we have our shrimp, roasted garlic, butter, garlic butter, granulated garlic, Italian seasoning, rosemary, pimentos, green onions, two different types of peppers that we're getting. Worcestershire sauce, we have a great, great sweet vermouth, lemon juice and olive oil, and just a little Cajun seasoning. And that's it, fresh rosemary. And that's it, we're gonna show you how to make this great dish right now. First thing we're gonna do is use a really good olive oil. I mean a really extra virgin, full of fruit olive oil. And we're just gonna coat the pan with it so it gets hot. Second thing what we're gonna do is add our garlic. So we have some chopped garlic. We do all this by hand. I don't like the garlic that's in the, uh, in the bowls. Remember, what we're not gonna do is we're not going to burn that garlic. Fresh rosemary, a very important piece. Now the roasted garlic and, and our shrimp. So that's so fresh, it jumped right out the pan. We're gonna mix those up. Another important thing about this dish is don't overcook your seafood. Please do not overcook your seafood. Italian seasoning, lots of that. Butter. Wonderful butter, granulated garlic, lots of garlic, green onions, pimentos, a little bit of uh, pepper sauce. You're gonna push this around. This is what we're gonna deglaze it with, sweet vermouth. I love sweet vermouth, I cook with it all the time. Lee and Perrin, the best wish to share. Lemon pepper. A little Tony's. A little blackened seasoning. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flip these over. The smell is incredible. You know you're doing it right when the smell is great. We're gonna take a little bit of our garlic butter that we made. This is just softened butter with roasted garlic in it. And this is gonna finish off our sauce. We're gonna add a little bit more Worcestershire. Oh yeah. And then our two different types of pepper. One is a Worcestershire pepper made by McCormick, and the other is a smokehouse, so it's gonna give it that nice smoky flavor. You can let all that go get married in there. I like to say it's all married. We flip it over, flip the shrimp over. Right here on the top of the thing, we're gonna finish it off with just a squeeze of fresh lemon. When they turn pink like that, Oh my God, that is sinful. We're gonna let that reduce a little bit, just to, so everything comes together. Yeah. Let all that shrimp just absorb that sauce. It's all in the head, look at that. Flip them over, just make sure that they're all cooked down. Like I said, you don't want them overcooked. And this is the fun part. And then that sauce all on top. Oh, oh. Then after you bring that to the table, there's one thing we're missing. Do you know what it is? Right 
out of the oven, French bread. That's New Orleans barbecue shrimp done Duke style. Bon appetit.